Yusheng, Yi Sang or Yu Song Chinese, Yu Sheng Pinyin, Yu Sheng, Pei, Hog, Hai Se to the power of N or Hu Si to the power of N, or Prosperity Toss, also known as Lo He Cantonese for Lao Chi or Lao Chi, is a Cantonese-style raw fish salad. It usually consists of strips of raw fish sometimes salmon, mixed with shredded vegetables and a variety of sauces and condiments, among other ingredients. There is also a vegetarian version of this dish, where the fish is replaced with soy fish, which resembles salmon. Yusheng literally means, raw fish, but since, fish, yu, is commonly conflated with its homophone, abundance, yu, yusheng, yusheng is interpreted as a homophone for yusheng, yusheng meaning an increase in abundance. Therefore, yusheng is considered a symbol of abundance, prosperity and vigor. While versions of it are thought to have existed in China, the contemporary version was created and popularized in the 1960s amongst the ethnic Chinese community and its consumption has been associated with Chinese New Year festivities in Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore. Today, the common form of yusheng is the kasai yusheng, chi kai yusheng seven-colored raw fish salad served in local restaurants during the Chinese New Year period. Also referred to as Fasai Yusheng, Fa Kai Yusheng Prosperity Raw Fish Salad or Xinian Yusheng, Xin Yen Yusheng Chinese New Year Raw Fish Salad, this colorful take on Yusheng was said to be created in the 1960s by chefs Lao Yoke Pui, Tham Yui Kai, Xin Liang and Hoi Kok Wai, together known as the Four Heavenly Kings in the Singapore restaurant scene. The recipe included ingredients such as shredded white and green radish and carrots, ginger slices, onion slices, crushed peanuts, pomelo, pepper, essence of chicken, oil, salt, vinegar, sugar and more. To enhance the taste, the chefs began the practice of pre-mixing the sauce in order to ensure a balanced taste for each dish as compared to the past when diners mixed the sauce themselves. This new way of eating yusheng was not readily accepted until the 1970s when younger diners embraced it. From then on, the popularity of this yusheng recipe soared and spread overseas. History Fishermen along the coast of Guangzhou traditionally celebrated Renri, the seventh day of the Chinese New Year, by feasting on their catches. The practice of eating raw fish in thinly sliced strips can be traced back to ancient China through the raw fish or meat dish known as kue, kue, kue. However the present form of yusheng is believed to have started in Chaozhou and Shantou as far back as the Southern Song dynasty, there is also a legend regarding its origin. It was believed that in South China, a young man and his girlfriend found themselves stranded by bad weather at a temple with nothing to eat, but they managed to catch a carp. Chancing upon a bottle of vinegar, they added this to the stripped carp and found it quite appetizing. In Malaya's colonial past, migrants imported this tradition. Porridge stalls sold a raw fish dish which is believed to have originated in Jiangmen, Guangdong province that consisted of fish, turnip and carrot strips, which was served with condiments of oil, vinegar and sugar that were mixed in by customers. Yusheng. <laughs> Eating yu sheng during Chinese New Year is a cultural activity for Chinese living in Singapore and Malaysia, but not so much in other Chinese populated countries such as Hong Kong, where the practice is almost unheard of. There was a controversy between Singapore and Malaysia regarding the origins of this dish. It was said that a restaurant Lu Jianji in Seremban, Malaysia first refined this dish from a Cantonese dish and sold it during Lunar New Year around 1940s. However, the son of the chef acknowledged that it is hard to dispute the ownership of the dish. This dish has been declared a Malaysian heritage food by the Malaysian Department of National Heritage. One thing is certain though, that this dish has its roots deep in the southern part of China. It was also said to be created by four master chefs in 1964 in a restaurant kitchen in Singapore, then part of Malaysia. It made its debut during Lunar New Year of 1964 in Singapore's Lai Wa restaurant established in September 1963. The four master chefs were then Mui Kai, Tham Yu Kai, co-head chef of Lai Wa restaurant, Lao Yoke Pui, co-head chef of Lai Wa restaurant, Hoi Kok Wai, founder of Dragon Phoenix restaurant, established on 8 April 1963, and Sin Liang, founder of Sin Liang restaurant, who, together created that as a symbol of prosperity and good health amongst the Chinese. All four chefs were named as the 
four heavenly culinary kings of Singapore some 40 years ago for their culinary prowess and ingenuity. In the 1970s, Lai Wa Restaurant started the modern day method of serving yu sheng with a pre mixed special sauce comprising plum sauce, rice vinegar, kumquat paste, and sesame oil, instead of customers mixing inconsistently concocted sauce. Ingredients and their symbolism When putting the yu-sheng on the table, New Year greetings are offered. Some of the phrases commonly used are Gong Shi Fa Kai Gong Shi Fa Kai meaning Congratulations for your wealth Wan Shi Ru Yi Wan Shi Ru Yi meaning May all your wishes be fulfilled The fish is added, its Mandarin word Yu corresponds to a homophone of it Yu meaning Abundance. Thus nian nian yu yu nian nian yu yu, abundance through the year. Pomelo or lime, da li da li, is added to the fish, adding luck and auspicious value, da ji da li da ji da li, meaning good luck and smooth sailing. Pepper is then dashed over in the hope of attracting more money and valuables. Jiao kai jin bao, jiao kai jin bao, meaning attract wealth and treasures. Then oil is poured out, circling the ingredients and encouraging money to flow in from all directions, referring to yi ben wan li yi ben wan li, meaning make 10,000 times of profit with your capital, and kai yuan guang jin kai yuan guang jin meaning numerous sources of wealth. Carrots are added indicating blessings of good luck, the first word in the compound word representing the ingredient. Hong luo bo. Hong Lobo, Hong Hong, has a homophone in Hong referring to Hong Yun Dang Tu Hong Yun Dang Tou meaning good luck is approaching. Shredded green radish is later added symbolizing eternal youth Ching Chun Chong Zhu Ching Chun Chong Zhu, forever young. After which the shredded white radish is added, prosperity in business and promotion at work Feng Sheng Shui Qi Feng Sheng Shui Qi progress at a fast pace, Bu Bu Gao Sheng Bu Bu Gao Sheng reaching higher level with each step. The condiments are finally added. First, peanut crumbs are dusted on the dish, symbolizing a household filled with gold and silver jin yin man wu jin yin man wu, meaning household filled with gold and silver. Sesame seeds quickly follow symbolizing a flourishing business sheng yi sheng long sheng yi sheng long, meaning prosperity for the business yu sheng sauce, usually made from plum sauce, is generously drizzled over everything, a reference to tian tian mi mi tian tian mi mi, meaning may life always be sweet. Deep fried flour crisps in the shape of golden pillows is then added with wishes that literally the whole floor would be filled with gold man de huang jin man di huang jin, floor full of gold. Modern version of the dish The yusheng had fish served with daikon white radish, carrots, red pepper capsicum, turnips, red pickled ginger, sun-dried oranges, key lime leaves, coriander, chili, jellyfish, chopped peanuts, toasted sesame seeds, Chinese shrimp crackers or fried dried shrimp, five-spice powder and other ingredients, laced with a sauce using plum sauce, rice vinegar, kumquat paste and sesame oil, for a total of 27 ingredients. Originally, the dish used raw wolf herring, although salmon was later offered as an alternative due to said species' growing popularity with customers. <inaudible> Serving Yusheng is often served as part of a multi-dish dinner, usually as the appetizer due to its symbolism of good luck for the new year. Some would consume it on Renary, the seventh day of the Chinese New Year, although in practice it may be eaten on any convenient day during the Chinese New Year period the first to the fifteenth day of the first lunar month. The base ingredients are first served. The leader amongst the diners or the restaurant server proceeds to add ingredients such as the fish, the crackers and the sauces while saying, auspicious wishes. Ji shang wa ji shang wa as each ingredient is added, typically related to the specific ingredient being added. For example, phrases such as nian nian yu yu, nian nian yu yu, may there be abundance year after year, are uttered as the fish is added, as the Chinese word for surplus or abundance, yu yu, sounds the same as the Chinese word for fish, yu yu. All diners at the table then stand up and proceed to toss the shredded ingredients into the air with chopsticks while saying various auspicious wishes out loud, or simply. Lo hei, lo hei, 
Lao Chi Lao Chi Pinyin, Lao Chi, Lao Chi meaning, scoop it up, scoop it up. It is believed that the height of the toss reflects the height of the diner's growth in fortunes, thus diners are expected to toss enthusiastically. See also Ceviche Ho dish Kue dish List of salads Namasu Sashimi <laughs>